Our mission statement is on the wall here in the office, as you can see, and it's also in every building in the district. And the mission statement speaks to excellence, a quality of education for all of our kids that's uh, second to none. I've been here um, the entire way since kindergarten. Um, my dad even went to school here, my uncle also. Uh, they grew up just down the road. Um, and I've loved every part of being a Blue Devil. There's, there's a great family here. Um, we're all proud of each other. It's a great place to get an education and I'm glad my parents decided to put me through the school system. Well, we're, we're proposing the bond in two series for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, in terms of how and when we want to spend the money, it makes sense to have it in two series. We, we don't plan to do all of the, the construction work at once. Um, it just physically is not possible for all of it to happen at once. Um, in addition, as it relates to technology, we need that opportunity to refresh over a period of time, just like we have with the past technology bond. Um, and then finally, the, the impact to the taxpayer is, is lessened by us um, putting it uh, in uh, two series. Um, it has the, the bond uh, or the millage rate will be lower because of that. The timing is not an accident. The timing is a direct result of certain millages rolling off, uh, which is also not an accident. And we go back six, seven years when I was on the board, and I remember the discussions knowing this year was coming and that we would have this dialogue and we would have to have a vote with the uh, uh, type of needs on the table that we're talking about. So no surprises here. All things have been thought through very carefully. So this is a yellow Ty Ticonderoga number two pencil. When I was in school, this was our computer. This was the tool that we used to learn with. Today, the tool that the kids use are these, or, or this computer, a laptop computer. These are the tools that the kids use today. Um, the change in the basis of education, or the basics, uh, you know, th that hasn't changed. It's important to be a critical thinker, to uh, strive for excellence, to I uh, do all the things that uh, I used to do with the yellow Ticonderoga pencil. Uh, the, the difference is today uh, we're in a technological age and we're using those tools. And in the real world, uh, the workforce is populated by people who can expertly handle the uh, new tool. So uh, as part of the bond request that, that we're talking about, uh, there's a component that addresses the need to keep that technology fresh, and uh, we have a plan to do that. I think we need to remember that we are, we are educating 21st century learners in a 1952 building. And while we are doing our very best with that, it's just not conducive to what our students um, need right now. Um, I have, you know, it's a fairly small classroom. I have 24 second graders. Sometimes it feels a little like we're on top of one another, so more open spaces. The new furniture um, would be really important to, to us. And just updating the facilities. Um, it's a sweet little building, and I fell in love with it from the moment I walked into it. But we, we just, as I think about it, we are in need of a 21st century building. In, in looking at Gullet Community Schools and, and all of the things that we do uh, at the highest level, uh, you know, the highest standard, um, uh, the performing arts uh, have been relegated to uh, cafeterias and uh, uh, Gull Lake is now a Class A school district and we are the only Class A school district in a very large area that does not have an auditorium. And I remember my sophomore year 
we scheduled a performance on parent-teacher conferences and we had no chairs. So we had to wait right at the gym door, waiting for parent-teacher conferences to end. As one teacher's desk ended, we'd grab their chairs and we'd just run them to the lunchroom, just back to back to back. I, I always think, what are we going to read and write about if we don't have the arts? If, that's, if that is not part of our, you know, it's, if that's not a priority. It, this is a really important time uh, for our community to, to step up and look at what we want for our children. The, the ask that we are looking at um, is, uh, we think is fiscally responsible. It's, it's reasonable and it's not over the top. Um, it, it will still keep us in a place where we will be um, probably about the second lowest in terms of um, millage that is assessed in, in the greater area. So we're, we're trying to remember that our community wants and expects us to be um, very fiscally conservative, but teach our children in the way that they should be and they have excellent uh, education. This is where the future lies. Um, Gall Lake is not like most schools. We really do. We do love each other. It is a family and I don't think that, I hope that'll never change.